What up, people? This is Vigilante for two minutes and some change. That's 2-M-A-S-C. Then you know it's me, the original two minutes. This is something I need to talk about. Thirst. Obey your thirst. Listen to me. Everybody knows how the world is. It's a rat race. Everybody's trying to get to the top. Everybody's trying to be heard. Everybody's trying to get out there. And sometimes we're too cool to ask for things, to um, what people would view it as begging for things. But let me tell you a little secret. Stay thirsty. Obey your thirst. Stay thirsty. See, people have used the term thirsty when somebody chasing out after a girl that may not want them or what have you or what have you. The guy's acting thirsty or she's thirsty. But let me tell you something about when it comes to thirst towards success, thirst to be heard. Thirst, you show your mouth should be dry. I don't care. You should never think that you're in a position where your mouth is not dry. Because it's billionaires. Millionaires are still thirsty. Every commercial you see is thirst. Every commercial. Why? Because it's in your television. It's on your it's on your social media. It pops up in the newspaper. It pops up on billboard sign. Over and over and over again. Retention, retention, retention. Stay thirsty. Hunger and thirst goes together. Hand in hand. Don't let nobody tell you you're thirsty because you're out there promoting your music. Promoting your book. It's okay. It's a million people buying your music. It's a million people buying your book. Well, if it ain't a million people buying your book. If it ain't even a hundred people buying your book, then you better stay thirsty. You better stay hungry. You better stay focused. I ain't say be selfish with it, though. Let everybody else get their turn to talk and have the spotlight. But you stay thirst to let them, thirsty to let them know that you mean something. Your music means something. Your book means something. Your store means something. Support black business means something. But we're scared to stay thirsty. We're scared to stay hungry. We're worried about somebody going to look at me. Man, if I go up to this person telling them, buy my CD. If I get on Facebook and tell them, hey, support me, they're going to think I'm thirsty. But we can get up on Facebook. We can get up on other social medias and talk about everything else but yourself when it comes to supporting your business, what you're trying to do, your dreams. Your dreams, should you should stay thirsty with your dream until you get there and then you still stay thirsty. Look at all the millionaires out here. Look at all the corporations that are still marketing, still paying for marketing. Why? Because they know They have to stay thirsty. So if you are fledgling business or artist or entrepreneur, you better stay thirsty. Obey your thirst and let anybody that tells you that you're thirsty, you look them dead in their face and say, so what? I am and I'm going to continue to be thirsty until I drink of the success that I'm looking for. Put the ego down and stay thirsty for whatever you're trying to get in life. Stay hungry for whatever you're trying to get in life. You stay thirsty. Obey your thirst. This ain't even a Sprite commercial. This is a life commercial. Just on our heart radio. This has been Vigilante for two minutes and some change. I went over looking for change. Out. What's up? This is your man, Dre Mack, coming to you in between two minutes of some change with your man, Vigilante, only on iHeartRadio. Today, I was looking up some information because I got an interesting painting of a black Moorish king called King Casper of Germany. Now, I'm going to remind you guys, a lot of the paintings that I have on my Pinterest page that you need to follow at Dre Mac 99 under the history is a lot of black figures that ruled in Germany, Russia, Poland, Switzerland, Scotland, Ireland, and Great Britain, all over the European areas. But 
Looking up King Casper's information, couldn't find a drop, not even on Wikipedia. And Wikipedia is supposed to have everything. That's the problem, people. They want to hide this history from us. They want you to believe you were just a slave. This is the white supremacy ideology that we are trying to break by giving you this information. Go and look up this information. Look up about a lot about Moorish kings before the Renaissance era. Because during the Renaissance era, I'm going to tell you this, they whitewashed a lot of our people. Again, this is your man, Dre Mack. Follow me on these formats. Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Dre Mack 99. And hopefully, this is a history that gives you your change. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dre Mack 99, y'all. And like I say, stay thirsty. Even thirsty for knowledge. Thirsty for history. That's the only way you're going to find it. Now we out. Peace.